the, the most elevated of uh, the uh, provincial capitals of Spain with an elevation of 1132 meters that's about 3713 uh, feet uh, exactly and it is also uh, inscribed in UNESCO World Heritage since 1985 as it is the only city that still has 100% of its wars from the um, medieval times. Now, Avila was uh, built as a Roman uh, town, or at least we think, because um, Ptolemy actually described uh, the town of uh, Abole in uh, Iberia already. And uh, this town is kind of disappeared, and uh, we think that uh, that would be uh, Avila today. But uh, uh, it was conquered by the Romans, and then the Visigoths take so took over, and then the Arabs came here, and eventually uh, the city got abandoned for about 200 years until until uh, the uh, beginning of. Uh, uh, the uh, 11th century and people started coming back and uh, eventually it became a town again in 1088 and by 1107 they started to build the city walls now it took 300 years to uh, build uh, them and uh, now uh, we still have 100 percent of the city walls which is a bit more than two and a half kilometers of walls with 88 uh, towers and uh, that is also uh, the largest illuminated structure in the world uh, at night so unfortunately well we're not going to see the illuminations but we will see that uh, the city from uh, the distance of course well um, the uh, city expanded uh, extra uh, muras uh, as well but the whole center is also uh, known as the place that's got the most romanesque and gothic churches per capita uh, basically the whole center is uh, church upon church and monastery upon monastery The city was actually uh, built uh, on sort of a table land, so that's a, uh, a big uh, flat uh, hill that overlooks the, the whole uh, valley. And uh, the city is also uh, built like um, like a Roman city, so that means that the uh, the, the city walls have a rectangular shape, and there are two main streets that uh, cross the city uh, from. Uh, east to west and from uh, north to south and they meet at a kind of a forum or a main square in the middle. And then on one side there is the uh, Adaha river and on the other side there are the mountains that uh, we can see already on the horizon on the right hand side so when we get to the place we will make a bathroom stop there'll be a quick bathroom stop and uh, then we'll go to the viewpoint before continuing city is ahead of us now, but it's kind of misty from this point. <coughs>
So this will be the place for the bus stream. We'll make a 20 minutes stop here and then we'll go to the best. <laughs>